So I forgot to mention my mileage last night. And a lot of you enjoy hearing how far I pushed myself. <laughs> um, I went 31.1 miles yesterday to get to the river, which means I have less than 50 miles to Colorado. <laughs> I'm, um, sorry, I'm just like, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't think I, I could go this fast. Um, to get there in 28 days just seems wild to me. <laughs> um, you know, going solo out here is not easy. It's not a walk in the park. You're responsible for the mileages, taking the breaks, choosing the routes, navigating um, zeros, everything. and. That means sacrificing like social stuff, like tramways and hiking partners and all that stuff. So it's not easy, but it's been so rewarding to know that I could do what I've done so far. And I wouldn't trade that at all. So I am really looking forward to being in Colorado tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so crazy. 28 days to go 777 and a half miles. I would have laughed if he said I could have done it before I did it. But here I am, laughing at myself because I'm doing it. <laughs> I just climbed to the top of a saddle and while I wasn't rewarded with any beautiful view, I do have a lot of endorphins going and that feels pretty good. Plus, it's time for a snack. Got my buffalo pretzel bits. A pretty nice view. Can you guys like go away? I'm trying to get some water. I need to refill here at this lake and you guys are in my way. Success. Not one fish was harmed in the collecting of this water. And it's not that bad of a color either. Mm. You know, you'd hardly ever know that there was cow shit and goose shit and fish shit in this water source, to be honest. Love Mio. Just a girl standing in front of a water source in New Mexico asking it not to clog her filter. Let's play a quick game. Would you rather walk on lava rocks for whatever time, sun cups for whatever time, or mud for whatever time? Um, 
I really got to watch that um, first step, taking a dive into the river here, stream. So I guess you could probably say I wouldn't pick mud right now. This is the Rio San Antonio of New Mexico. I survived Rio San Antonio without slipping and falling, so yay me. And my shorts are already dry from earlier, so that's nice. I have four miles to my goal today, which is the Lagunitas Campground. It's gonna put me at 20 miles to the end tomorrow um, and 30 miles for today. So I'm pretty sure I will stay there. It sounds like there's good amenities. Um, there's some service, so I can try to call and book my motel for Chama and check in with Josh. So it's four o'clock. Let's go finish this thing. I'm just getting to the Lagunitas camp area. This is gonna be pretty fun for you guys. I have homework myself to do, but why don't you guys look up Otter from the CVT Lagunitas Campground 2015-2016. And you'll see why I was so interested in staying here tonight. Might freak a little freak some of you out a little bit, but yeah, I thought it'd be pretty cool to stay up here. Another holy darn tough. It almost made it to Colorado. <laughs> um, I just got camp set up. I called Josh and checked in with him, let him know that I'm going to give Colorado a go as soon as possible. I'm um, going to take a few days off in Chama and rest and relax and whatnot. He's going to get my ice axe sent down to me and a new pair of socks. And then it's go time. So it's pretty exciting. I did 30 miles today and I have about 20 miles until Colorado tomorrow. So going to get some rest, hopefully get a good night's sleep and finish this thing.